People ask me what goes through my mind when I race. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, kick! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, kick! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, kick! What were you expecting? Shakespeare? I'm working here. Kick! Hi, I'm Jen Miller, inventor of Step Training and creative developer for Step Reebok. If you are viewing Step Reebok Circuit Challenge for the first time, fast forward to the end of the workout to review the important information in the pre-workout instructions. This information is very important to you so that you will know how to change the intensity and duration of your workout. Set your counter on zero so you can easily return to this spot and fast forward to the pre-workout instructions now. Here we go. And march. We're going to take the arms up, up, down, down. Right arm first. Here we go. Up, up, down. Now two bicep curls right here. Good. Now let's speed it up. Here we go. Up and down. Two curls. Good. Again. It's up, up, down, down. Curl, curl. Again. Up, down, curl. Last time. Now we're going to go into little quarter squats. Arms cross in front of the chest. Here we go. Cross. Sit back. Keep your knees behind your toes. Abs tight. Buttocks pushed back toward the back. In three more, we're gonna march it out with the left leg and do that same arm combination. Last one, march it left, same arms, up, up. Here we go, left, up and down. Two curls, good. Do it again, up and down. Two curls, that's it. Two more, up and down, two curls. Last time. Let's go back into those little squats. Here we go, cross those arms in front of the chest. That's it, sit way back. Good, abs tight as if someone's about to pull a chair out from under you. Two more. We're gonna march it out with the right leg. March it out. Now we're gonna do it up, up, down, down with the feet. Right foot, here we go. Up, two taps. Do it again. Up, two taps. Now add that arm combination back in. Up, down. That's the way to work. Do it again. Good, two taps. Squat it, here we go. That's it. Good, keep going. Left arm, left leg, take it up, up, up. Two taps, again, take it up, down. Two taps, two more, take it up, down, two. Last time, good. Now we're gonna go back into those quarter squats, let's do it right here. Four, get close to your platform, two more. Let's take it up, up, down, down, right arm, right leg here. Up, two taps, now just two squats, right here, two squats. That's it, now, left arm, left leg, up, up, down, down. Two taps, two curls, two squats. That's it, good, gonna start again with the right arm, right leg, here we go. Up, two taps, two squats, that's it. Left arm, left leg, up, up, down, down. Two taps, two squats, good. Now hands in your thighs, low back stretch, let's do it fast, ready? Release the abdominals, contract, release. 
contract, release. It's a low back stretch. Let's do it for slow down, two, up, two. When we come up, we're gonna do a jam. We're gonna pull right, middle, left, one foot, both arms. Ready? Right, middle, left. Good, again, slow, slow. And we're gonna take this whole thing, we're gonna speed it up, here we go. Speed it up. That's it, keep going, keep going. Four, three, now let's do it slow again. Figure eight arms, figure eight arms, figure eight. That's it, faster, faster, good. Do it again, slow, slow, figure eight, right here. That's it, and faster. Now we're gonna keep the legs, change the arms to crisscross in front of the chest, right here. Cross, cross, yeah, take it side to side. These are diagonals. Take this lunge straight back now. Push, 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 good. Give me four more of these rear lunges. Diagonals, crisscross, four, three, two. Take it straight back, four, three, Two, diagonals, crisscross the arms. Four, three, two. Take it straight back, straight back. Now get ready, we're gonna take the whole thing from the top. Right arm, right leg, take it up. Here we go. Two taps, two squats. Yeah, yeah. Left arm, left leg, here we go. Up, two taps, two squats. That's it. Now, slow jam, figure eights. That's it. Let's get faster, faster. Remember what's next? Diagonal lunges this way. Four, three, two, take it back, take it back, lunge back. Good, legs wider, reach overhead, here we go. Up, yeah, yeah, really stretch, oh yes, feels good. Both arms, take it up, reach, reach, yeah, yeah. Keep going, and four more, we're gonna take these arms into a chest press, chest press. Push, 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 good. Abs tight, chest out, shoulders back, we're gonna take these presses to two at a time, right here, two. Again, two, again, two, again. We're gonna add on two pushes, two circles in the center, right here. Good, two pushes, two circles, two pushes, two circles. One more time, two pushes. Change these circles to upright rows. Ready, pull now, pull, that's it, good. Keep going, four more, three, two. Slow it down, pull, that's it, squeeze. Two more. Last one, you're gonna march it out on the right leg. Do it now, here we go. March it, center it up, get close to your platform. We're gonna march for three and tap for one, and we're gonna clap on the tap. Are you ready? Right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep going. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this into a turn. It's here. That's it, it's here. That's it. Give me four more. Give me three. Two more. Stay, hold everything right here. Dig that front heel in, back leg bends, hands on the thighs, and inner thigh stretch right there. Good. And four more, we're gonna do a quarter hop turn to face front, you'll face me. You'll reach to the sky and press that heel back. Ready, here we go. Take it up and back. Up, stretch, good. Two, on this last one, hold it, rotate the thumbs. Here we go. Rotate them, get that heel back. It's a calf stretch, it's a calf stretch. Two, hold the hands, hug a tree, hips forward, here we go. That's it, good stretch, ah, oh, it feels so good. Two, hold it right here, ah, oh, sink back into a hamstring stretch right there. Dig that heel in, it's a hamstring stretch, back to the big part of the leg, stay right there. In four more, you're gonna put your feet together, march it out with the left foot, and it's a one, two, three tap, just like we did before, ready? Here we go, one, two, three. Center yourself up, that's it. Good, now we're gonna do that turn. Turn it. Aha, uh -huh, you like that one, I know you do. Keep turning. That's it. Give me four more. Uh-huh. Two more. One, two, three. One, two, three, hold it here. Dig that heel in, sit back. Bend that back leg, hands on your thighs, and inner thigh stretch right here. You're gonna hold it for four more, and in four more, you're gonna reach high and press back with both hands. It's a quarter hop turn to face us. You're gonna face front, ready? Here we go. Lift and press. Get that heel back there, get that heel back there, because you're gonna hold it for a stretch. Hold it, cross the arms in front of the chest, right here, right there. Stretching out the back, hold it here. Hips roll under, arms pull back, right here. Oh, good. Two more, and you're gonna hold it right here, hold it. Good, now stretch around into this hamstring, stretch this leg, dig that heel in, sit back, sitting bones pushing back to the back wall. 
Good, stay there. In four more, you're gonna put your feet together and you're gonna march it out with the right leg. Two, march it out, right leg. Good, center it up, center it up. Now we're getting ready to start the first sequence of our circuit, cycle A, our first 10 minutes. Remember, you're gonna be following Valerie if you're starting out for the first time, or if you're a beginner, follow Valerie for the first 10 minutes. We're gonna do stepping, then we're gonna do resistance, one minute of each. We're gonna start with a basic step, right foot up. Three, two, here we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some intensity to this. Stay grounded if you're a beginner. If not, let's take it up one. Let's leap on count one, leap. Good, now it's taking the intensity up, a little bit of power here. I want you to stay centered over your platform, keep going. Now let's take it a run on top, here we go. Run, run, walk, walk. Now the higher you pick up your knees on this run, the harder it's gonna be. If you follow Carrie, you'll see she's really picking up her knees. Keep it going, that's it, three. Now keep doing the run, but watch us, we're gonna show you a triple run. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Now try it with us next time. Triple run. One, two, three. Stay close to your platform as you come down. Right, left, right. Good. Four more. In four more, we're gonna go to our first resistance training exercise, which will be a push-up with our knees or feet on the floor and our hands on the platform. Stop here, get your mat or your bath towel and place your knees on it. Hands on the platform, abs tight, back straight, head down, here we go. Down. Now remember to keep your abs tight and your back straight. You don't want to arch your back on this. If you're doing this on your knees, it's going to be a little easier. If you're doing it on your feet, it's going to be a little bit harder. And you can break this up into two sets. Actually, if you want to push back and rest for a moment and then pick it back up, you can try just two sets instead of one long set. Now remember, it's real important here to have a good range of motion, push through the extension of the arms and back down. The harder it is, the more you'll feel it in your chest muscles. Three, and two more, we'll stop and put our mat back and come up in safe position. Stop here. Take your mat and put it back under your platform. In safe position, come on up. We're gonna go to basic, left foot up. Here we go, left foot up. Now what we're gonna do is the same thing on the left foot as we did on the right foot. In two more, we're gonna add the leap. Stay grounded if you're a beginner. Let's leap now. Leap, that's it, leap. Watch your step, make sure you check it each time. All right, now we're gonna go to a run. Here we go, run. That's the way to work, run. Watch that platform, run. Good, run. Remember, if you pick your knees up like Carrie, it's gonna be harder. We're doing the power alternative here. You don't have to do this. You can always stay grounded if you're starting out for the first time. Let's triple run. Remember this? And it's one, two, three, down, down. Stay close to your platform. Watch where you're going, stand up straight. Keep your body weight centered over that platform. That's it. Last one. Stop. We're gonna go to rows. You're gonna pick up your platform. Bend down with your knees. Pick up your platform. Put your hands underneath, right like this. One hand on the thigh. You're gonna pull to your hip bone. Here we go. Pull. Now this is a bent over row. This is for the back muscles. The latissimus dorsi. Big muscles in the back. We worked chest the first time. Abs real tight. Keep a straight body line from your tailbone to your shoulders. We're gonna get four more here. Four, the only thing moving is your arm. Keep your elbow tight to the side of your body and the platform tight. One more. Now, just stand up in safe position, switch sides. Hand on the thigh for support, other leg back, abs tight, head, neck, chest, and shoulders up. Stretch it down, here we go. Pull. Now this platform weighs about 15 pounds, so it's a significant amount of weight. And if you're starting out for the first time, you can do it a little less repetitions on everything we do in the resistance category. That's it. We're gonna have four more after this. Pull to that hip bone, keep that elbow tight, abs tight, one hand on the thigh for support. In two more, we'll be all done and we're gonna go back to stepping. Stand up in safe position, take your step, platform, put it back down. And we're gonna go into press this, we're gonna go to a knee up, step right, lift the left knee, here we go. Step, knee up, that's it. Good, keep going. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some arms and travel with this move, right here. That's it. You got it, good. You know what we're gonna do next? We're gonna add a hop to this, let's go, let's hop it. That's it. This is a good power move, adds intensity. Remember, if you're starting out for the first time, you'll be following Valerie. That's it. In three more, we're gonna increase how many times we lift our knees 
On the next one, we're going to three count repeater. Here we go. Three, two, again. Here we go. Three, two, again. Here we go. Three, two. Now see how all our levers are pushing to the front? On the next one, we're going to do one front, side, and back. Ready? Front, side. Arms follow legs, shoulders at the pivot point here. Front, side, back, again. Front, side, again. That's it. Really feeling it now. Four more. Front, side. Now, we've already done chest and back for our resistance training exercise. After two more of these, we're gonna go to a shoulder exercise. So alternating side lateral raise. So you'll be straddling your step, getting your tube or your weight. Let's do it now. Bend down in safe position. Grab your tubes. It'll be a lift out to the side. Elbow and wrist stay in the same line as you see me doing here. And you're going to squat as you lift. Ready, right arm first. Here we go. Right, left. Now you can make it easier by following Valerie. She's just got one foot on top of her tube instead of underneath the platform. And Carrie, as you see, is standing on the tube with both feet because she's tall. Taller people have a little bit more trouble because the taller you are, the more resistance the tubing has in it. Now keep that elbow and that wrist in alignment. Remember, they move on the same plane. It's a side movement for the shoulders. If you want to make it tougher, like Tracy, you can use two weights and lift both arms at the same time. Let's go for four more. Then we're going to go back to the platform and do some more stepping. This is the end of shoulders. Right here, weights away, tubes away in safe position. Over here on the diagonal, pressing to start. Tap up, tap down, here we go. A little rest here, a little rest. All right, instead of the tap up, we're gonna go into that knee up. Here we go, knee up. All right, you're gonna be staying with Valerie if you're a beginner, so stay with her. We're gonna take the intensity up. We're gonna add a knee up with a lunge back. Lunge here, right here. Now that's a straight body line from your ankles all the way to your shoulders. More intensity, add a hop at the end of this, right here. That's it. Hop. Now if you want even more intensity, watch Carrie because she's going to add a leap on the next one. Hop. Hop. That's it. Work like you mean it. Don't bend from the waist. Nice straight body line. Four more. Four. And three more. We're going to do a resistance training exercise for the triceps. Back of the arms. Stop now. Walk around your platform and have a seat. Feet out in front. You're going to be going down and up. Here we go. Down, up, down. Two more, and then we're gonna speed it up. All right, let's go faster, here we go. Now, how are you feeling? I want you to think about how hard you're working on a scale of one to 10. For instance, if you're working too hard, you might be at seven. You might need to take your step height down. If it's too easy for you, you might wanna increase the resistance. Eight, seven, six, five, stay close. Four, come on, three, two, you got it, have a seat. <sighs> Stand up in safe position, walk around your step. You're gonna do a tap up, tap down from this side, this leg. Here we go, tap up. That's it, good, keep working. Instead of a tap up, tap down, let's go to a knee up, beginners too, come on. That's it. All right, beginners, I want you to stay right here for the rest of this. All right, if you wanna take the intensity up, add a lunge back here, lunge back. That's it. Now beginners, you're getting pretty close to the end of the first cycle, which is 10 minutes. Add a hop here for more intensity. That's it. All right, keep hopping, but watch Carrie. She's gonna add a leap. And one more exercise, beginners, you'll be done with the first cycle, which is 10 minutes. You need to evaluate how you feel before you go on. Two more. We got one more exercise, it's for the bicep stop now, straddle. All. Pick up your weights or your tubes. You'll be starting an alternating bicep curl, which will look like this, and then the other hand, and you'll squat on the curls. Four, three, two. Right hand first, here we go. Now, keep going and keep doing these bicep curls if you're intermediate or advanced. If you're a beginner, I want you to put your weights or tubes away now. We're gonna take a heart rate. So Valerie and I are gonna put our weights or our tubes away. Find a pulse either on your wrist or on the side of your neck. And when I tell you to start counting, I want you to count it. Ready, count.
stop. Okay, make sure you are within your target heart rate range. Check the chart on your screen. Find your age and the corresponding numbers in the column next to it. You should be within your target heart rate range. Remember, if you're working too hard, you may want to reduce the height of the platform. Okay, you should be still doing those bicep curls if you're intermediate or advanced. Keep going. Two more. Last one. Let's go to these presses. We're moving into B now. If you're a beginner, you want to stop now, assess how you feel, and go to the cool down if you need to. Otherwise, you can move on if you've worked up to it. We're going to do a straddle down jump, and it looks like this. Here we go. Down, down, load, explode. That's it. Down, down, sit back, and jump. Now, you can watch Val for the low impact version. She's giving you the beginner version, so go along with her if you need to. Load, explode. Now, when you sit back, I want you to push your sitting bones toward the back wall. Keep going. Down, down, load. And don't go past parallel. Put your hands on your thighs for support. Two, and one more. You're going to change lead legs down to the floor first. So left leg now. Here we go. Down, down, squat, and explode. Your hands help you to get up there. Squat, explode. That's it. Down, sit back. Keep your knees over your feet. Again, down, down. Load and explode. The higher you explode, if you watch Carrie, the higher you explode, the tougher it is. The more power you put behind it, the more energy you exert. Give me two more, and then we're gonna go to our first resistance training exercise, which will be for the chest. We'll do flies lying down on your back. So grab your weight, and if you don't have weights, you'll be doing push-ups right here at the end of your platform. Hands on either side for a tricep push-up. If you got weights, you'll be lying on your back. You'll start with your palms together at the top, You'll lower your arms apart and then back together at the top. Ready, everybody? Here we go. Good. Now remember, you're squeezing the chest muscles. As you go down into push-ups, make sure you keep your back flat, your abs tight, your head and neck in a neutral position. Make sure you're fixed and stable. And on the flies, make sure you're going way up, but don't stretch down too far. If you stretch down too far, you really risk the anterior shoulder muscle. You don't want to do that. So out and squeeze. Chest exercise, good. That's it, remember you can make it harder or easier by going to your feet to make it harder or your knees to make it easier. That's it. Give me four more, and four more. We're gonna go back to the platform and start stepping. We're gonna be doing a V step with our arms, that's it. Weights away, stand back up in safe position. We're going to be starting with a right foot V-step, arms are going to be zigzagging. Ready? Here we go. V-step. Good. Two more with the right leg. After one more, two side touches on the floor right here. Good. Now left foot, V-step, arms two, three. That's it. Two. One more. Two side touches. This way first. Good. Three Vs. Now this time, instead of the side touches, which is low impact, we're going to do two jacks on the floor if you want. Only if you want. Good. This way, V-step. Here we go. V. Two more. One more. Two jacks. Now lose the arms. Just jump up in a V. Do it now. Jump. Right leg down. Right leg down each time. Two jacks on the floor right here. Jump the V again. Here we go. That's it. Left leg down each time. Left leg. Two jacks. V. Jump now. Right leg down. Good. Two more. One more. Two jacks. Last time for V jumps. Three, left leg down. Two, left leg, one more. Two jacks, let's go to a back exercise. Seated row as we go to the floor. Tracy's gonna do the alternative seated row. He's gonna do bent over rows with his weights. Feet up against the step, grab your tube. You're gonna be pulling to your hip bone and releasing back to the front. Is everybody ready? Here we go. Pull. Get that chest into the exercise. Sitting up nice and straight, knee soft, pull that tube to your hip bones. That's it. Good. Pull. If you're working with the weight, keep your elbow tight to the side of your body, your back fixed and stable, your head, neck, chest, and shoulders above the hip line. We're going to do four more after this. Four, three, and two more. We're going to rest and then wrap the tubes around our hands to make it a little bit tougher. Wrap the tubes. Make sure you can pull them all the way to your hip bone. You might need to unwrap, change sides if you have weights, other arm, other leg. Here we go. Now, if you had weights, you should have changed arms by now. You should be working the other arm the same amount. You 
you do 12 on one side, you gotta do 12 on the other side. Keep those elbows tight to the side of your body. That's the way to work. Good, chest into it, eight more, eight. That's it, seven, you got it. Six, we're doing two sets here, we had a little rest. Keep those knees soft, this is for your back. Elbows tight to the body when you release the tube. One more, release the tube. Stand up in safe position. Put the tube back under your step. Starting right here, we're gonna do one knee up. Then we're gonna travel across the top. Ready? Here we go. One knee up, across. Here we go. Good. One knee up and across. Now add a hop if you want. Follow bow for low. Here's high. And that's it. Adding power to hop and across. Get that hop right here. That's it. Good. And it's a hop. Across the top. We're gonna change it. One hop. Three across. Two more. One more. Now just one more like that. One hop. Across the top. Two more. Last one. Shoulder. Overhead presses. Have a seat. Grab your tube. From underneath your step, palms are gonna face each other. We're gonna come up and back down. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Palms face each other, overhead presses. Now, how are you feeling? Feeling all right? I want you to think about how you feel on a scale of one to 10, perceived exertion. We're gonna use this chart to see how you feel. All right, one to 10, I want you to judge it. Where are you, what number? If you're between three and seven, you're probably right where you need to be. But if you're at three, you might can pick up the pace a little bit. If you're at seven, take it down. You can either take your platform height down or reduce the amount of reps or reduce the amount of load you have. Last one, and tubes away. Stand up in safe position. We're gonna go to an A step. Everybody ready? A step moving this way, cross the arms, here we go. Three step out squats, this way first, hands on your thighs, now this way. Now this way. Now start over, A step, this way, here we go. A step, step out, squat, this way. This way. This way, all right. A step, we're gonna add power. Three power squats with double jumps. Huh. Yeah, yeah. A step, here we go. Huh. Three power squats, double jumps in the center. That's it, remember, you can always stay with bell if you're starting out. A step, this time, turn the power squats. Woo, yeah, yeah. You got it, A step, here we go. Ho. Three power. That's it. Shall we do it one more time? Let's do it. One A step, three power. Turn it. Two more. That's it. Last time, here we go, A step. Three power. That's it. Two more. Last one. Sit down, tricep extensions over the head. Safe position. Grab both tubes, and it's this exercise right here. Here we go. Up and down. Now if you want to, you can alternate this movement one at a time, like Valerie's doing, and that'll make it a little bit easier. That's the way to work. Keep going. This is a tricep extension. It works the back of the arm, opposite of the biceps, underneath the arm. You know where it is. In four more, we're gonna go back to stepping. Two more, last one. Good, weights and tubes away. Go to the top for diagonal lunges. Standing here, you're gonna take this foot down, take this arm across, we're gonna start with eight. Then we'll go to half tempo squat. Breathe, ready? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Good. Keep going, five, six. Half squats on this side. Now together, other side. Together, other side. Together. Back to diagonal lunges, diagonal lunges. Eight, seven. Abs nice and tight, you're pushing from the forefoot. It's a nice straight line from the ankle through the shoulder. Half squats this side first, hands on your thighs. Together. Good, two more. We're gonna reduce that sequence. Four diagonal lunges, four. Nice and tall. Two squats, right here. Good, four diagonal, four, three, two. Two squats, right here. Two diagonals, one squat. Two diagonals, one squat. Do it again, last time, 
two. One squat, nice and tall. Last time. One squat. Let's go to bicep curls right here. Step down, pick up the tubes. Underhand, but palms face each other. You're going to come up and back down with presses. Ready? Here we go. Right here. Now keep the elbows tight to the side of the body. The only thing that's moving is the upper arm. Okay, keep those elbows tight to the side of your body and keep doing these bicep curls and listen to me for just a second. If you're at the intermediate level and you're just doing the A and B cycle today, you'll be taking a heart rate with us in a few more of these and then going right to the cool down. So you'll be fast forwarding. Keep marching as you fast forward to that cool down. Three more bicep curls if you're intermediate. If you're advanced, keep doing these bicep curls through the heart rate if you need to. And stop right here. Step down from your platform. Two fingers on the thumb side of your wrist or on the side of your neck. Find your heart rate, and when I tell you to start counting, count it. Ready? Count. Stop. Check the chart on your screen. Find your age and the corresponding numbers in the column next to it. You should be within your target heart rate range. Remember, if you're working too hard, you may want to reduce the height of the platform. Now we're ready to move into cycle C. We're going to start from the side here, and we're going to do two taps up and one turn step. Are you ready? Here we go. Two taps, now turn. Good. Do it again. Two taps, now turn. Here we go. Again, two taps. Arms just follow the body here on the turn. Up, up. Two taps, and turn. Now instead of the two taps, side jump up, both feet. Jump, now turn, reach up. Good, jump up from the side. Jump, now turn. Good, do it again, jump up, but this time run the turn, run, run. Jump it up, run the turn, that's it. Good, jump it up, jump, run the turn, add two knee lifts, grounded knee lifts, right here. Remember, low impact, follow Val. Jump it up, run that turn, run it. Two regular knee up, tap downs, right here. Arms, follow legs. All right, jump up. Now run the turn. Now leap, lift, and hold on the knees. Karate knees. Hoo. Again. Hoo. Jump up. Side jump. Run the turn. Run the turn. Two karate knees. Here we go. Hoo. Again. You got it. Let's do it again. Jump up. Hoo. Run the turn. Two karate knees right here. Hoo. Again. Hoo. Last time. Jump up. Run the turn. Two karate knees, get ready for our first resistance exercise. Push-ups on the floor, get your mat. Put your knees on it. Feet or knees, hands apart, you know how to do these. Ready, here we go. Now to make these easier, you can put your hands on your platform top and your feet on the floor. Keep your abs tight, your head, neck, shoulders, and back looking straight down. Real nice, good. Glide through the movement, push through the extension of the arms. That's the way to work. Remember, if you want to make it harder, you can go to your feet. Let's get eight more. That's it. Good. Four more. Abs nice and tight. Don't compromise your form. Just to get the rep, make sure you're doing the rep right first. Good, back up. Mat away. Now we're coming around from the side here. Make sure your left foot is closest to the step. Let's go over the top, loop the arms. Here we go. Four, and over. Again. Now we're gonna add propulsion to that over the top, except if you're starting out, or if you wanna stay low impact. That's the way. Good. Now we're gonna add a knee lift. This knee lifts. Up, and lift. You got it. That's the way to work. Now I want you to keep doing this, but watch what we add to this. One over the top, one half turn. Outside knee comes in, you gotta hop. Over, one half turn. Watch this again. It's over the top, one half turn back. Outside knee into the platform. Over the top, outside knee into the midline. Good. Put it together. Over the top, knee lift. Half turn. That's it. Over the top, knee lift, half turn. Over the top, knee lift, half turn. Last one. We're gonna do a resistance exercise at the back. It's prone back flies. Get your weights, lay down on your tummy, chin on the chest. If you don't have weights, grab your tube. We'll do press backs. Handles of your tube in your hand. 
One foot on the step, you're gonna press back. Otherwise, lift the elbows and squeeze. Lift. Press or lift. If you're doing the prone flies and you're on your stomach, you're gonna wanna lift those elbows and squeeze them behind your back. That's it. Push back at the other tube. Four more, abs tight. Spine straight, stable, and fixed. In two more, we're gonna take a little rest. Rest it now. We're gonna switch feet if you have the tube. Take a little rest. Remember, these prone back flies keep your chin on the platform. Let's do it again, second set. Push, that's it, push. Or lift and squeeze, lift. That's it, squeeze those elbows. This is an exercise for the mid-back, the rhomboids and trapezius. That's it. And a little bit of the rear delts or back of the shoulders. Four more. Three. In two more, we go back to the platform. Tubes and weights away. You're gonna put one foot up, one foot about hip width away from the platform, toe on top, three little squats. Three. Sit back, it's for the buttocks. Two. One more, feet together on the floor, one squat, arms out in front. Same leg back, rear lunges. Three. That's it, shoulders over the hips. One more, squat on the floor, right here, squat. Let's do it again, one foot on the step, right here. Three, two, one on the floor, one squat. Same leg back. This time we're just gonna do three back and then we're gonna change sides without that squat on the floor. Last one, change sides, other leg up. Here we go, back. Three, arms go out in front for balance, sit back, keep that knee over that ankle. One foot on the floor, squat. Same leg back, rear lunges. That's it, 90 degree angles on those knees. One more, squat in place. One foot up, let's repeat it, here we go. Three, two, one. Feet together, take it back. Last time, then we're gonna go to shoulder exercise. It's gonna be upright rows. One squat. All right, straddle your step, get your weights or your tube. You're gonna put both handles in the same hand Pull to your chin and back down. Face the end of your step, and you're gonna press as you pull up. In four more, four, three, two, here we go. Pull here. Elbows high, fists right under your chin. How do you feel right now? Let's use our perceived exertion chart. On a scale of one to 10, rate yourself. Between three and seven, that's where you should fall. If you're at three, whoa, you are fit by this time. You might need to increase the level of intensity by raising the platform height. If you're at seven, you might want to ease up. Okay, reduce the resistance or the height of your platform. Good. Two more. Last one. Good, weights and tubes away. We're gonna go over the top, walk it four times. Here we go. One knee up right here. Over the top. Arms together, feet together. One knee up. Leap over, right here. One knee up, ha! Leap over the top, one knee up. Now all of its power, leap over the top, hop on the knee up, hop on the knee up, ha! Yeah, yeah, here we go, woo! Give me four more like that, leap, give me a hop on the knee up. Watch that platform, keep your body in good stepping posture. In two more, we're just gonna vary the over the top a little bit. Okay, now all we're gonna do, instead of over the top, we're gonna take that over the top forward, corner to corner, right here. Push back, again, corner to corner, push back. Corner to corner, push back. That's it, corner to corner, push back. Good, we got two more. Corner to corner, push back. Last one, let's go to a tricep exercise called kickbacks. Get your weights and put one foot on top of the platform or your tube and put one foot on top of the tube. Elbows high at the waist. You'll be pressing straight back and down. Here we go. Press, down, press. Abs nice and tight, chest up. Remember, keep that elbow above the waist. One elbow on the thigh for support. Good. Give me four more. Four. That's it, three. Using that tricep muscle, back of the arm, last one. Switch sides, take the tube, lay it back over. Put your other foot on top, with your elbow high, weight at the side of the body. Hand on your thigh, kick it back, here we go. Press, you got it, press. Now if you're using weights, like Tracy,
Just make sure you have the appropriate amount of resistance. Usually it takes a little bit lighter weight on this one. It's a small muscle group. Small muscle groups take lighter weight. Abs tight, give me four more. That's it, three, two more. Last one, good, weights and tubes away. We're gonna put the whole combination that we've built together. We're gonna start with a jump up and run on the turn. Ready guys? Jump up, huh. run on the turn, here we go. Two karate knees, huh. again. Over the top, here we go, over, half turn back. One arm, get airborne, good. Over the top, half turn back. Good. One foot up, squat. Three, two, sit back, sit back, it's for your buttocks. Feet together on the floor. One leg back, rear lunge. Three, two, one squat on the floor, take it from the top, jump up. Here we go, jump, side jump, run on the turn. Two karate knees. Ha. Again, over the top, here we go. Half turn, over the top. Half turn back, leave one foot up, split squats, here we go, sit back. Three, Woo. two, one on the floor, on the floor, that's it, back leg back. Three, two, squat on the floor. Now let's take it corner to corner, here we go. Corner to corner, hop back. Woo. Corner to corner, hop back. Corner to corner, Woo. hop back. Under your step, grab your tube, put the handles, palm up. You're gonna rotate, pull it to the shoulder. Looks like this. Up, down. Bend your knees. Here we go. Both arms at the same time. If you're advanced, if you need a little bit of a break, one arm at a time, like Valerie's alternating the exercise. Rotate the palms out. Woo. And we are all gonna do four more, and then we are all gonna take a heart rate. Two more. Woo! Last one, yes! Waist and tubes away. Face front, two fingers on your wrist or on the side of your neck. And when I tell you to start counting, count the beats. Ready, count. Stop. Check the chart on your screen. Find your age and the corresponding numbers in the column next to it. You should be within your target heart rate range. Okay, we are gonna start this cool down by going up, up, down, down with the right leg and the right arm. You guys ready? Whew, here we go. Up, two side touches this way. Do it again, right arm, right leg. Two side touches, oh, this feels good. Much better, right arm, right leg. Two side touches. Whew, one more time. Instead of the touches, one squat right here. Left arm, left leg, up, up. Whew, two side touches. That's the way to work. Keep going. Up, two side. Yeah, yeah. Up, two side touches. One more time. And let's do a squat right here, squat. Now, tap on top, right, left, arms curl. Woo. Good. Give me four more like that. Let's just change the arms, palms up. Here we go, cross here. Woo. Yeah, yeah. That is feeling good. We're gonna take the feet to the floor, do it. Right here, take the arms down, pressing here. In four more. Cross the arms to the chest. Right arm over top. Right. Left. Aha. Woo. Four more. Three. Two. Arms widen and open. Uh -huh. Nice and tall for me. Nice and tall. In four more. We're going to hold the left arm up and we're going to reach and pull. Hold it here. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Yeah, yeah. Good. Last one. Low back stretch. Hands on the thighs. Take it down. Round up. Abdominals contract. Two more. Left arm reach and pull. Here we go. And yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. Cooling down. Last one. Hands on the thighs. Shoulder stretch right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. On the other side. Let's march it out. Right leg. March it out. Bring it to the center. Taking the shoulders to a shrug right here. Take them to shrug and round it back. Round the back. Now you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna take a recovery heart rate. We're gonna take a heart rate, just like we did before. So let's go to presses right here. 
Two fingers on the thumb side of your wrist or on the side of your neck, and when I tell you to start counting, you count the heartbeats. Are you ready? Count. Stop. Step this way. Here we go. All right, now what we just took was a recovery heart rate. You should have been about nine or 10 beats lower than what your heart rate was during the cardiovascular section. The recovery heart rate is a good indicator of improved cardiovascular fitness over time. As a matter of fact, as your fitness level increases, your heart rate will drop back down to its resting levels more quickly. <sighs> Keep moving if you're not all the way cool. Keep moving, take that heart rate on your own in a couple of seconds. Stop right here. We're gonna go to the abdominal section. We're actually gonna come down in safe position. We're gonna take our platforms and turn them over. I'm gonna take one block and switch it to the 10 inch height. Then we're gonna take our platforms and turn them right back over. Take a mat out from underneath or your towel, put it about at the midline of the platform. Come around and have a seat on the end in safe position. And you're gonna lower back into a lying down position. Keep your head on the platform. You're gonna reach under and put your hands right under this little place right here. You're gonna be pulling your knees up with your heels on your buttocks. What you're gonna do is lift your knees to your chest and back down. It's a reverse hip lift for low abs. Here we go. Now the abs are one big group of muscles. You can't separate them, but you can really focus on one area. Here we're fo focusing on the low abdominal area. That's it. Pull your knees to your chest each time. Lower it down smoothly. You want to control the roll up and the roll down. Good. That's it. We're going to get four more. Four. Three. In two more, we're going to go to our next exercise. Good. All right. What you're going to do is cross the right leg over the left. Put your right arm on the ground and you're gonna take this shoulder over to this knee, and this is for obliques, focusing on the side part of the abdominal region. Ready? Here we go. It's lift. Now make sure you're turning the torso here and you've got the head supported with the hand. Remember to breathe out on the exertion, so when the exercise gets hard, you're gonna be breathing out. That's it. You got it. We got seven more of these. Make sure you're not pulling with the elbow. Make sure you're pulling with the shoulder. And you should feel it here on the side. In three more, we're gonna be changing to the other side, other leg. Other side, other leg, ready? Here we go. Again, it's the shoulder that goes over to the side, not the elbow. You're lifting the whole torso. The chin is neutral or close to the chest. And that one hand is down there for support. Again, it's the obliques we're focusing on, which is the sides of the abdominal region. We've got five more, four. Let's go three more. Then we're gonna put our feet together and do traditional curls with both hands behind the head. That's it. Both feet together, both hands, here we go. Lift. And this is the third exercise in our triple set. That's it. Up. Three, two more. Then we're gonna take this into three lifts, high, higher, highest. Here we go, ready? High, higher, highest, again. It's high, higher, highest, again. Blow out on the exertion, again. You got it, give me four more. That's it, this is three. You're almost done, give me two more and then we're gonna work the low back. Last one, two, ah, relax, relax, relax for a second. Put your hand behind one knee, pick your head up, rock and roll up. Just gonna roll over, lie down, face down, lace your hands behind the buttocks. With your head looking down, you're just gonna lift and back down. Let's do it together, here we go. Lift and down again, lift down, lift, down, two more, lift, down, one more, lift, good, now just push back up and turn back around, have a seat, 
lie down pull your right leg to your chest head down feel the hamstring stretch right here pull that knee toward your chest good reach up grab the toe push your heel to the ceiling you'll feel it right back here in the calf stay right there good now take the other hand grab the arch of your foot cradle your knee in the elbow of this arm and pull that knee toward the shoulder the bottom leg extends out straight and flexes at the foot dropping the heel toward the floor for a hip flexor stretch as the upper leg is an outer thigh stretch stay there feels good all right switch let's do the other leg pull it right to the chest it's a hamstring stretch stay right there Good, it's this muscle. Bend your knee, reach up, grab the toe, push the heel to the ceiling. You'll feel it right back here in the calf. Relax, keep your head on the platform, stay there. Good, grab the arch of your foot, cradle your knee and the elbow, and pull toward the shoulder, extend the bottom leg, flex the foot, drive the heel down, stay there. This is a thigh stretch on the upper leg and a hip flexor stretch in the lower leg. Good, relax, grab behind this leg, head up, rock and roll up. Sit right here, pull back into a chest stretch, stay right there, good. All right, release the hands. Gonna scoot back on your platform. The right leg is extended, the left leg is bent at the knee, grab under the platform, inhale, exhale, pull down. Just pull to where you feel a little bit of tension. Relax. Good. Switch. Other side, other position. Under the step, take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Straddle the platform, hands on your thighs, stand up. One foot up at the end. The other leg hooks back, turn the hips under, drop down for a quadricep stretch, stay right there. Hands behind your head, pull the elbows back for a chest stretch and a little bit of triceps, stay there. Good, stand up. Reverse the exact same movement on the other side, taking the thigh down, rotating the hips under, hug yourself. Good, stand up, face front. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale, you're done. Welcome to the Step Rebox Circuit Challenge pre-workout instructions. By working out with us two to three times per week, you'll enjoy the benefits of a comprehensive, balanced workout. Here's how it works. After an eight-minute warm-up and stretch, we'll perform three 10-minute circuit cycles. 
cycles A, B, and C. Each cycle will start with a cardiovascular or stepping segment and alternate with a resistance training segment. The beauty of this workout is that you can vary the intensity at any time by increasing or decreasing the height of your platform and the amount of resistance you choose. During each of the cycles, Valerie, who will be working out to my left, is performing the lower intensity modification, which you can follow if you feel that you're overexerting. This workout can also be modified by moving right to the cool down at the end of cycle A or cycle B. All you have to do is fast forward directly to the cool down if you feel you've exercised long enough. The cool down is well marked by a bright cue card on your screen. I'll remind you of this option at the end of cycle A and cycle B. After we've completed all three cycles of circuit training, we'll move to the cool down and do isolation exercises for the abdominal region. The Step Rebot platform is perfect for exercising your abdominals. Our workout will finish with a slow stretch. This will help you relax and enhance your ability to increase your range of motion. Now, before you get started, you'll need a Step Rebot platform, a water bottle, a mat or towel to protect your back or knees, a resistance tube, a pair of dumbbells, or even soup cans for an equal weight load. Place these under the platform or keep them well off to the side so they won't get in your way. You may also want to invest in a pair of gloves to protect your hands. For the stepping segments in the circuit, you'll need to maintain proper stepping posture. So remember, abs tight, chest out, shoulders back, head and neck in a neutral position and buttocks slightly tucked. Keep the knees soft. Use a full body lean from your ankles when stepping. The best knee angle for all stepping exercises is 60 degrees, which looks like this. If you're starting out, choose the lowest platform height. If you're a regular stepper, eight inches is fine. If you're advanced or especially tall, 10 inches is a good choice for you. When lifting or lowering a platform, always use safe lifting technique. Lift using the legs, not the back. Bend your knees and keep the platform close to you when you lift it. Now, here are some tips on proper body mechanics for basic stepping. Step to the center of the platform. Keep your weight centered over the platform as you step up. When stepping down, land on the ball of your foot, lowering your heels to the floor before taking the next step. Arms are optional. Don't try to add them until you master the footwork. Step gently to control the impact. Here's some important techniques to remember when you perform the power portions of Step Rebox Circuit Challenge. Stay close to the platform before you explode into the power movements and as you descend for the next move. Knees should flex during takeoffs and landings to absorb shock. Keep your weight centered over your foot strike and your head up to maintain proper alignment. During one quarter hops and one half turns, make sure you are airborne during rotations. On half turns, turn toward the midline of your body. Remember, at any time during the power segments, you can return to the grounded step patterns to reduce the intensity of your workout. We'll work on resistance exercises together during the circuit to tone and strengthen your muscles. This will shape you up and improve your performance for everyday tasks like lifting, carrying, climbing, pushing, and pulling. When doing strength training exercises, keep your wrists in a neutral position, straight and fixed. Don't let them bend or hyperextend during the pulling or pushing exercises. To avoid discomfort in your shoulder joints, externally rotate the thumbs when the arms are above shoulder level. Avoid bending at the waist to the front or the sides without supporting your upper body weight. A good way to do that is to put your hands on your thighs like this. Don't bend your knees past 90 degrees when they're weight bearing. Exercise muscles through a full range of motion. This improves your overall muscle performance and joint mobility. Before performing the resistance exercises and the Step Rebox Circuit Challenge, check your platform. Make sure it's locked into its blocks and resting securely on its risers. Take care to stand, sit, or lie in safe position so your platform won't tip over. When you move from a seated to a lying position, or vice versa, use the rock and roll technique. Place one foot on the floor and pull the other knee into the chest. Roll up or down in this position to prevent uncomfortable arching of your lower back. 
When using tubes, check for wear or potential weak spots before each workout. Throw out tubes that show signs of tear or uneven wear. Attach your tube securely to the appropriate part of your platform or body before you begin an exercise. Also, take care not to stretch your tubes in direct alignment with your eyes in case they snap loose. When performing resistance exercises with a load such as dumbbells, don't grip too tightly because this can elevate your blood pressure. Always start and finish exercises with dumbbells in a safe position. Cradle the weights close to your body so that there's a minimum of mechanical stress on your joints. Remember to breathe continuously when you're doing resistance exercises. When the exercise gets tough, exhale. After each cycle, we'll take a 10 second heart rate check to calculate appropriate exercise intensity. First, determine resting heart rate, preferably upon waking up in the morning, by lightly placing the middle and index finger on the side of the neck or on your wrists. Count each beat for 60 seconds, that's one minute. Target heart rate zone is then calculated by using Carvonian's formula. That's 220 minus age minus resting heart rate times your training percentage, 60 to 80 percent. This will give you your 10 second heart rate count. Divide that by six and add your resting heart rate back in. To calculate the number of heartbeats in 10 seconds, Use the target heart rate chart on the screen. Find the column that's closest to your age and the row that corresponds to your resting heart rate. Where those columns intersect, you'll find your 10 second heart rate zone. If you're above your target heart rate, you may want to decrease the intensity. If you're below your target heart rate, you may want to choose to increase your exercise intensity. During the workout, we'll also check your rate of perceived exertion. So pay close attention to how hard you feel you're working. This feeling is your total amount of exertion, fatigue, and physical stress. As you see in the chart, you will want to keep your intensity level between three and seven, moderate to very strong. Two minutes into the cool down, we'll check your recovery heart rate. This indicates improved cardiovascular fitness over time. As your aerobic fitness increases, your exercise heart rate will return more quickly to resting levels after you exercise. Compare your recovery heart rate from one workout to another. A decrease in your recovery heart rate over time shows that your cardiovascular fitness has improved. Make sure to drink plenty of water before, during, and after your workout. A small loss of water can result in dehydration, which can affect your exercise performance. When you dress for your workout, wear loose-fitting, comfortable clothing or body wear. Don't wear heavy sweatsuits or outerwear that you can't take off as your body temperature increases. Circuit training also requires appropriate footwear, like this Aerostep Pro that I'm wearing. It's great because I've cut out the heavy part of the shoe and replaced it with Graphlite, which is a very strong carbon-based material that makes the shoe very lightweight. The Hexalite gives it great cushioning and it's durable. Not only that, but it's flexible, so it's great for the activity. The Step Rebox Circuit Challenge workout is for everyone, regardless of skill or fitness levels. We've combined simple skills with fitness improvement techniques such as progressive resistance training and variable intensity progression. This allows everyone to work at their own pace within the same session, so you get the best results no matter which stage of fitness you're in. Circuit training is a great way to reduce the risk of overuse injuries because of its cross-training effect. The different movements involved can prevent excessive repetitive stresses on the same joints, so you can exercise and safeguard your body at the same time. Finally, one of the most enjoyable differences between the Step Rebox Circuit Challenge and other workouts is the diversity. You'll love the tremendous variety of exercises as you adapt this extremely effective training method to your health and performance goals. I hope you'll work out with us often and keep on the lookout for more Step Rebox workout videos in the future. Now. Rewind to zero and let's get started. To purchase a Step Reebok platform or other Reebok products, call 1 800 843 4444.